day everyone, I am Jonna J. Aranas and I am with Anna Bernadette Yape. So we will discuss the psychoanalytic social theory of Karen Harnay. Context, overview of psychoanalytic theory, biography of Karen Harnay, introduction to psychoanalytic theory, basic hostility and basic anxiety, compulsive drives, intrapsychic conflicts, feminine psychology, psychotherapy, and concept of humanity. Biography Karen Harnay or Karen Danielson Harnay was born in Albi near Hamburg, Germany of September 16, 1885. She was the only daughter of Bertin Danielsen, a strict authoritarian and a ship captain. Her mother, Katadia Danielsen, who was known Sonny, so Bertin, his children called him the Bible thrower because according to Harnay, he did. Katadia, a woman nearly 18 years younger than her husband. If I could have pretty, I decided to be smart. The father of Karen Harnay made good comments about her beauty and intelligence. At that moment, she suffered depression at the age of 9. She keeps suffering throughout her life. So that's the reason why Karen says that decision. If I couldn't pretty, I decided to be smart. Entered the University of Freiburg in 1906. She enrolled against her parents' will because when she is 13 years old, she decided to become a physician. But there is no university would accept a woman in their school. When she is 16 years old, everything changed and she is the first woman who studied medicine in Germany. There she met Oscar Harnay, a lawyer, and married him on 1909. Within one year, she gave birth to her first daughter. In 1911, her mother Sonny died. So to help her to cope depression, she sought psychoanalysis. Began an analysis with Carl Abraham on 1910. Carl Abraham is one of Freud's close associate and a man who analyzed Melanie Klein. So in 1950, Horner published her important work, Neurosis and Human Growth died in New York on 1952 after a short illness. Introduction of Psychoanalytic Theory Psychoanalytic theorist Karen Harnay developed one of the best known theories of neurosis. She believed that neurosis resulted from the basic anxiety caused by interpersonal relationships. So this theory built on the assumption that social and cultural conditions, especially childhood experiences, are largely responsible for shaping personality. So people who do not have their needs for love and affection satisfied during childhood, they develop basic hostility toward their parents. And as a consequence of that, it will suffer from basic anxiety. Harnay theory proposes that strategies used to cope with anxiety can be overused, causing them to own the appearance of needs. So we have here the neurotic needs. First, the neurotic needs for affection and approval. Second, the neurotic needs for a partner. Third, the neurotic need to restrict one's life to a narrow borders. Fourth, the neurotic for power. Fifth, neurotic need to exploit others. Six, neurotic need for social recognition. Seven, the neurotic need for personal admiration. Eight, the neurotic need for personal achievement. Nine, the neurotic need for self sufficiency and independence. Ten, the neurotic need for perfection and accessibility. Also, we have here the three neurotic trends. These three basic attitudes towards self and others. This is a revision of original 10 neurotic needs. First, moving towards strategy and self-effacing solution. Second, moving against and expensive solution. Third, moving away and resigning solution. Basic hostility. Horner described his aggression which a child developed as a result of basic evil. 
Honor generally defines basic evil as a, invariably the lack of genuine warmth and affection. Basic evil includes all range of inappropriate parental behavior from lack of affection to abuse. This situation of abuse and torment that cannot be avoided or escaped causes kids to have a higher level of irritability. The same can be said for anxiety. So basically, basic hostility repress feeling of rage that originate during childhood. When children fear that their parents will not satisfy their needs for safety and satisfaction, children develop this as a result of parental neglect. Basic anxiety. According to Harnay, basic anxiety could result from a variety of situations including direct or indirect domination, indifference, erratic behavior, lack of respect for the child individual's needs, lack of real guidance, disparaging attitudes, too much admiration or absence of it, lack of reliable warmth, having to take side in parental disagreements, too much or too little responsibility, overprotection, isolation from other children, injustice, discrimination, unkept promises, hostile atmosphere, and so on and so on. So basically, basic anxiety is a feeling of isolation and helplessness in a potentially hostile world. This is similar to mistress. So overall, basic hostility is a result from a childhood feeling of rejection or neglect by parents or from a defense against basic anxiety. So basic anxiety result from a parental threats or from a defense against hostility. Hello, a pleasant afternoon everyone. So we I, I have to discuss now the compulsive drives and neurotic do not enjoy mastery and suffering. So what do you mean by by neurotic? So neurotic means you're afflicted by neurosis or in shorter term to describe mental, emotional or physical that are drastic and irrational and conscious effort to manage deep anxiety. And we have this um, sort of symptoms, have the anxiety, depression, ing- anger, and mental confusion. Kaya nga diba, neurotic people cannot change their behavior because according to a study, um, we don't have free will or it's just his opinion. Kasi for him, free will is an illusion. So, in order to protect his herself, we have these neurotic defenses na kung saan a normal defense sa taong matino ang pag-iisip, they have this spontaneous movement na kung toward people, si normal na, si normal na pag-iisip is that they, they tend to be friendly and have a loving personality. Na in contrast sa neurotic defenses sa may mental illnesses. So, they have the compulsive movement na para protectahan yung sarili nila um, para pr- in order to protect their, their selves again, against basic anxiety, they have compliant personality towards people or they are very aggressive. They have that aggressive personality against people. Next is we have intraphysics conflicts. So, one of the contributing factor of basic anxiety is the intraphysic conflict or their compulsive behavior generates a basic intraphysic conflict that may take the form of either an idealized self Im- image or self hatred so the development of personality, kung saan, this is the battle of opposing forces within the psyche, such as conflicting desires or 
Hornay called this inner conflict, something na sa mandraga exists because the ego fails to balance the id and the superego. Baga, you feel bad but you don't know why because it only exists in your mind. Pers anang you study all night, that's your idealized self-image. Pag abot sa exam, you actually don't know nga nung di gihapon ka ka-answer na grabe naman unta imong study. Now you have that self-hatred. You have that tendency to despise one's real self. You study pero you know the effort's not been enough so you hate yourself. We have that three idealized self-image. And first is we have the glory, idealized self na nag-i-incorporate nag into all aspects of their lives, goals, self-concept, and relations to other. Claims. Neurotic build a fantasy world. They proclaim that they are special and therefore entitled to be treated in accordance with their idealized view. We have the pride. And is be and based on an idealized image of self, and is usually loudly proclaimed in order to protect and support a glorified view of one's self. Now let's proceed to feminine psychology. Mm, so feminine psychology is an area of psychology that focuses the political, economic, and social issues. I'm sorry, that perceivably confront women. This can be interpreted as a counteraction to male-dominated theories. An example being Sigmund Freud's perspective of female sexuality. One of feminine psychologist pioneers, Karen Horney, asserted that male realities cannot describe female psychology or define women's gender by virtue of the lack of experiences of, boy, of voices from girls and women. Karen Horney was, um, we all know, was known as the proponent of Freud's proposed sexual resolutions of penis. Kasi nga diba, according to Hornay, na mas parang naiingit ang mga lalaki kesa sa babae because women can conceive um, babies. Or match with that, Hornay instead proposed the concept of womb um, envy which men experience experience feelings of inferiority because they cannot give birth to children. Kasi Karen Horney was overlooked and ignored nung nag-aaral siya, nung nag-aaral pa siya. Kasi mas male dominant, that in that, yung time na yon mas male dominant ang mga lalaki, or male dominant nga, male dominant, in psychology that time so she would stand and became the prominent thinker who made important con contributions to our understanding in human psychology and psychotherapy um she redefined transference counter transference and the goals of therapy and in self analysis she developed an accountant of the analytic process in accordance with her new paradigm she refined her ideas about therapy and subsequent writings and lectures but her focus on the present rather than the past structure rather than genesis remained the same Isa lang yung pinaka main goal ni Horney kasi. Kung kay Freud, analysis fosters regressive reactions leading the patient to transfer onto the analysis feelings that um, derive from childhood. Yung kay Horney naman, Horney's view of transfers was the patient's behave towards analyst in accordance with their character structure. The analyst can therefore use the transference to understand the patient's defenses and inner conflicts like transference, counter transfer. Transference is a manifestation not on infantile reactions but of character structure. In this case, that of the analyst, analyst must understand their own defenses. Least they be blind to or indulgent of similar differences in their patients. Horney focused on recognizing patients' differences and discovering their functions and consequences. The purpose of 
Therapy is not to help people gain mastery over their instinct, but to listen their anxiety to such an ex extent that they do can dispense with their neurotic solutions. Ultimate goal, yung sinabi ko kanina na ultimate goal ni Horner is to restore the individual to himself or herself. To help regain his spontaneity and find his center of gravity and himself. Let's now proceed to um, concept of humanity. So, the most clear statement that can be made concerning Horna's beliefs about human nature and the shaping of personality is that she believes in the power of social and cultural influences more than biological influences. Biological influences reside outside at the reach of a person's ability to change. Kung saan pa, nature versus nurture. And... Hornai greatly believes that social and cultural are most ways of shaping our personality. So from her concept of humanity, as the name implies, is based on the belief that social factors rather than biological factors are more influential to the development of personality. So by breaking down the element of psychoanal psychoanalytic social theory, it may be possible to um, deconstruct the dimensions of current horny concept of humanity so if you feel depressed sad angry let's you can ask you always for help you can calm the storm so stop trying what you stop trying what you can do is calm yourself the storm will pass Everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, then it's not the end. And most importantly, the the most um, effective um, therapy is prayer. You could always ask for God's guidance. And that would be all. Thank you from the reporter of Karin Hornay, Jenna and Anna. Thank you.